So, uh, without further ado, why don't we get started? I think I'll stand up because I'm going to be using I'm going to be using both the PowerPoint and the whiteboard. I was going to actually use the PowerPoint, the whiteboard, and an overhead projector, but uh, the people at Media Services tell me that that's uh, more than more than this room can handle properly. So this is just to give you an idea of what what the heck we're talking about. Nuclear weapons are the most powerful weapons our species uh, has ever come up with. Um, and a single bomb can obliterate uh, the heart of a major city. Uh, and if it's a really big bomb, it can obliterate pretty much all of a major city. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is basically, uh, no, here's the whole agenda. So we're going to talk about how nuclear bombs work. We're going to talk about briefly about the nuclear materials. I'm going to leave most of the stuff about the nuclear materials to a subsequent one that, where we're going to be talking about how they're produced. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what are the hard parts in making a nuclear bomb, uh, and then I'm going to talk about nuclear weapons effects. And I hope to get through that all in maybe 50 minutes or so, so that there'll be plenty of time for uh, discussion and Q&A. But again, feel free to interrupt and, and ask questions all the way along. And in fact, I'm going to be posing questions to you as we go. And those of you who are already weapons physicists or engineers and know all this stuff, no fair being the ones to answer the questions when I ask them. <laughs> uh, all right, so the basic idea, the thing that drives this whole thing is that when a neutron hits one of, the lar one of a very small class of sort of large unwieldy nuclei, for example, uranium-235, that nucleus will split and release more than one neutron. And since each fission by one neutron releases something like two neutrons, you have the potential for a chain reaction where each of those two neutrons causes two more neutrons, causes two more neutrons, and it gets exponentially uh, faster and faster chain reaction. Now each of these um, uh, fissions releases something of the order of 200 million electron volts of energy. Now, on, that's a teeny tiny amount of energy, but on an atomic scale, it's a huge amount of energy. It's about a million times more energy than would be released in a typical uh, chemical reaction like something taking place in explosives. And so that is really the nut of the nuclear problem in a certain sense, is that this tiny amount of material can release this immense amount of energy. Energy for bombs or energy for civilian power. Um, and that means that in a nuclear power plant, for example, you can generate a lot of energy with a very small uh, amount of material. If you have, for example, a one gigawatt coal plant, you need about an 80 car train of coal every day. All right. If you're running a one gigawatt nuclear plant, you need half of one car once a year. So it's a totally different ball game in terms of the the concentration of the energy in a small amount of material. And that raises most of the good things about nuclear power and most of the bad things about nuclear power all arise from that basic fact. So let's talk about chain reactions a little bit.